Hello, Dylan. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So, long time no see. How are you doing? Are those new glasses? Say what? Are those new glasses? Uh, I've had them for a couple weeks, but yeah, they are new. Um, I like. Yeah, them. I, I really Love like them. them. They uh, they're made of ebony mahogany. They're like handmade. I mean, I I've got these from the dollar store that I think were kind of you know made from. Nice. Looks like zebra wood. Kind of. I don't know if they're actually. It'd be cool if they were. I think it's plastic, but maybe it's not. Yeah. Yeah, they, they do have plastic ones where they do uh, wood wraps on them. Um, but I, I, I make, I'm a woodworker and I make stuff with wood as well. Like I make uh, flutes. Oh, yeah. Um, from different hardwoods. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty passionate about like, you know, precision skilled kind of craft stuff. So I kind of looked around for a while and I, really wanted some wooden glasses and I, I've made flutes with ebony mahogany where it has kind of and if you can see it like it's black is kind of the ebony which means black um, right. so the lighter part is the sap wood part of the tree and then really? the, the black is kind of the the main look so yeah it's just and, and they're really hard I mean ebony mahogany is almost as hard as metal right um, so it's yeah they're cool it was a guy in uh, actually in hong I've, kong that made them i've never I, seen I looked them. around at a lot of different um people that hand make them or even um kind of have a bigger production means for them and this i like this style a lot so anyway <laughs> very stylish so yeah. where, where, where are you at, like in terms of the project, like what, um, what progress has been made? Well, um, it's been going slow. Uh, yeah, obviously. Slower than before, because it was, it was going pretty slow. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I have to say, um, it's been eight years since I've coded something from scratch, and I'm not much of a coder to begin with um so it's okay. been a big learning curve um i've been super busy with all kinds of stuff so i've kind of been pretty stressed which kind of overlays onto my work and mm. uh, any one thing that i'm doing and so i've kind of been working through that but kind of having a deadline on this with the fact that you know i'm super rusty at it and i'm going through a big learning curve again um oh. it, it hasn't been easy for me i get you i mean that super sucks because you'd want to i mean the idea on these sort of projects is to you know have everyone working on what they, they like and what they're good at um yeah but i guess that <laughs> well it, yeah and, and i mean i i as far as designing the ui yeah i really like mm -hmm. that as far as doing the graphic work i'm really used to that i'm really good at that um, but as far as the coding it and how to code it in this fashion and approach, um, some of it's new, some of it's, I haven't touched it in a long time. Um, I will say that like my approach and kind of process for building websites for the past eight years um, is very different. And I do do custom coding in that process, but it's not it's not at this level. It's kind of like I can look at the code and pick stuff and look for things and modify it. But as far as like structuring it and doing it kind of from scratch, I haven't done that in a while. So I'm kind of relearning that. And then I, I just had issues happen that I kind of didn't expect. So it slowed me down. Okay. Um, can, can I suggest something maybe? Yeah. Um, because I think, you know what I what I like. I mean, I like the graphic representation, and I and I like mm -hmm. the, the visual side of it. And I think that's been the sort of mm -hmm. that's the part that needs the bit of the upgrade. And what if you know whether we find someone else or it's just on on um, Noah's point for to do the programming, and you just do the graphic design of the page? Because mm -hmm. it because yeah. it seems to me that that's what's that's what we're lacking. That's what you're good at. 
you're getting slowed down by the stuff that essentially you shouldn't be doing because the, the, any time that you should be spending on this project to me should be on the graphic design user interface. Mm -hmm. I didn't quite mm -hmm. get, I, 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 I didn't, I guess, understand enough how much you, you were doing or had to do on the back end, which either Noah should do or someone else should do. So, I mean, I think that could be an adjustment that could make things be a lot better for everybody. Yeah. And, and when talking with Noah, you know, I kind of mentioned up front that I was really rusty at um, writing a lot of code or kind of building it from scratch. And, you know, I've been used to the WordPress approach. And honestly, I probably could have built this whole thing, all the steps in this amount of time in my normal approach. Right. But um, but then that kind of messes things up for Noah, because he enjoys building the whole programming structure. And so he was like, well, you know, can I hand you off the, the front end, the HTML and CSS? And, um, you know, I, I thought that I was going to be a lot faster and not have issues that I've had. Um, but also at the time that we started this process and you guys asked me to come on, um, you know, it was like, yeah, I've got plenty of time. And at that time, I was waiting on jobs to start and I really had the time. And then that first two weeks, we were waiting for the server before I could even get in. And then as soon as the server was ready, I had an onslaught of all kinds of work. So, and I've been trying to give focus towards this of like almost like prior to prioritizing more hours towards this, but I've just been really unproductive. Um, right, right. because of my learning curve and having to readjust to to doing the coding and then you know part of it's like because of the learning curve and I haven't done it for a while and this scenario it's figuring out what's my approach how should I approach coding it from structuring it from scratch and that part and then adjusting it to what he's doing and so all that's just something I'm not used to and, and it's not that I can't learn it and adjust but it's going really slow and slower than I'd like to and expect because, you know, I, I like to be integrity with what I say I can do and when I say I can do it. Um, but there's just been a lot of different things that have come up that have kind of slowed that process between being extra busy and, uh, you know, it, it more of a learning curve than I expected. Um, well, and yeah. I, I think I, on my end, I just I just see I should have been a lot more um, inquisitive along the way and got like I need some like I I work well with a lot of feedback and I don't mind yeah. negative feedback and I don't like I I could just you know I can sense things and I can see that things aren't progressing. Yeah, but I I was uh, I think it's different also talking with three versus two people here. It's just back and forth. It's it's a different. Sometimes I can tend to fade away when other people are in a group discussion kind of thing. And I become more of a listener. Um, mm -hmm. and I think in this situation with technology, I, I don't, I have the idea of the design, but I don't know the tech. And so I, there's a huge learning curve for me on that one. Um, yeah. And that shows in terms of just not quite grasping um, what you just told me. So. Yeah. So, um, and, you know, I, I guess I think from, <laughs> I didn't expect this to be so much of a learning curve and so much of a readjustment for me coding in this approach or doing this much coding. Uh, and um, because it's been so long and, you know, in the last time I did it, I was fairly good at it and kind of remembered and understood, but it, I haven't had to do that for so long that it's like, I have to kind of rewire my brain yeah. to, to build something that way. And it's been frustrating to me. And then I've kind of let that frustration and a bit of the stress over the deadline get to me. And just the stress of all this stuff coming at, you know, all this work all at once, which I'm not used to either. I've kind of been on a much slower pace. And all of a sudden now it's like, I'm kind of budgeting every hour of the week to kind of keep up and be integrity with all the different things I've got going. Um, and I've kind of been asking for all this stuff. It's like the, the scenario with you guys just kind of popped in, wasn't expecting it. And I had other things on the table that I was lining up right. to kind of budget out my finances and my time. And um, so, but I really 
like this project. I really feel like it has a lot to offer. Uh, it's very resonant with things that I've been inspired about or had ideas for as far as co-creational tools. Okay. So it's like, I really want to help. I'd like to see it be used. It looks like it really could be beneficial to Lucille in many different scenarios. Um, so, you know, it's just a matter, I think, I've been a little lacking on communicate communication of late because I felt bad that I'm not getting my end done and I'm not keeping up and I'm feeling stressed. And, and, you know, part of one of the things I wanted to mention in this meeting is, is there's some kind of, um, uh, communications app that we could use where we can actually like text or call, um, each other. Cause, I think as far as like me working with Noah on that end and me having a lot of questions or I need to go back and forth, um, I need to be able to get in touch with them much easier. And it's in yeah. email is not the best when it, there's a lot of things to talk about than having to write it out. I'd much rather be able to like text them and be like, hey, can we talk for 15 minutes? Um, and I haven't mentioned that, but I think at this point, like in this flow, it would be easier. Um, or it would help me out with me having issues or questions with some of the coding stuff. Um, and I think that, you know, I, I said that, you know, oh yeah, I can do the front end. I was expecting that I wasn't gonna have as much learning curve and I moved through it quicker. And so I think you guys had the perspective that like, oh, he's used to doing this all the time. And like, you know, he, he's a programmer, he, he does this on the front end. I yeah. used to do it this way, but it's been a while. And um, and I can't say that I prefer doing it this way. I know Noah prefers coding, but I've kind of liked the uh, the kind of CMS or the packaged uh, layered way of kind of building website where I don't have to do as much coding. I can kind of just do it on the visual side more. And it just kind of does all the layers because I haven't it takes a lot of research and a lot of like practicing and doing it to kind of get it in your brain of like, this is how this works, this is how this, and because I haven't had to do that, I kind of skip all those parts. And now I'm having to like figure that out and do that specifically right now. And so there's that adjustment. Um, I think there, there is a possibility that if, if Noah has the extra time and energy that he could do the HTML CSS because he can, probably burn through it a lot faster even even though he's not a front end guy as much you know he prefers more the back end than like the html and css he's more used to coding and it's more in his brain as far as like doing it um but i have noticed as i've been doing that i've kind of got to go back and forth with like creating the image and then resizing it and then like seeing what it looks like and adjusting so it would be possibly quite a bit of back and forth on his and my and even if we did switch to that approach because of that um because you know when I'm, I'm doing it in photoshop and you know putting it in certain size and I get it on the website kind of have to readjust in the web format and then there's just subtle things. So it's like, I kind of got to go take that image, pull back in Photoshop, do some edits, put it back into the web format online on the server um, until I kind of get it just right. And that's kind of been the process so far, but um, definitely what slowed me down is the relearning of kind of the coding approach and methods. Um, so, yeah. Okay, um, well, well, let's, how about, we got to re re. I mean, we sort of figured on our end that at the pace that it was happening, we wouldn't get finished. So we sort of decided mm -hmm. to sort of keep what he'd already done and fill in the pieces that were missing anyway, because we were pretty close to actually getting it done. You know, towards okay. what what was necessary. Um, we both really like the front. You know, just just even the front page is a great upgrade for us, right? For yeah, get for starting to get the look. You know, mm -hmm. of what, what it is. Um, so I think that if we to take some pressure off you or to sort of de-stress the situation of mm -hmm. you know, we're still aiming at the you know there's a, that two week deadline but it's like two to four weeks and if we're kind of not right like we're not I'm still on the other side getting the seven missions down pat with the people so mm -hmm. we're still figuring that out and we're just sort of diving in from the design time team of that so that's it's a it's a sort of a, it's a not necessarily a big thing but you know it's it's 
it's a big team approach here to figure out how, how this is going to work. And I, I think it can be done. Most of the sort of pressures on Noah um, because he's got the programming kind of to do in a sense. And I would suggest that what was the, um, if you can just do the front ends of whatever the pages that needed to be and, and don't do the programming, we could set up, why don't we set up on discord and uh, have the uh, immediate stuff there. I think if you, if you're doing kind of like what you're good at doing and you don't feel the pressure to program and then you look at more of a longer term approach and look at Liciel is not, you know, it's Liciel is going to work out the way it works out to me. And, you know, you can, we can only do what we can do, but we're, it is within the realm of possibility and, and, and the responsibility is not on you to have it finished for that. So. Um, yeah. And, and I mean, I kind of walked in really late, you know, there was like, you know, yeah. the possibility of doing it, you know, and somewhat of a deadline or it was like a month out and they're like, we'll see what we can do. And then I had time, but then the, you know, the, the two week server thing, and then I got busy and then I just kind of felt pressure because I, I don't want to like fail on a deadline, but I know it's not the end of the world. <laughs> and, you know, and I kind of walked in late when you guys were really wanting to do that and already yeah. kind of set the intention. And I was yeah. just like, I'll, I'll do what I can, but as far as like if he was willing to kind of do the html css coding on the front end and and i just did the graphic layout and then i could hand him the the individual parts of the graphic so he could you know build that in the html css that i much more enjoy like that i really thrive on yeah um and i would fly through that much faster i'm not going to say necessarily i'll absolutely fly through super quick but it won't be like this pace um, okay, good. And I think that what I see is your, you know, it, to me, there's, there's a real, uh, it's an interesting project from the terms, from the point of view of inter interface design. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, from your thinking point of view of going, okay, we've got 12 facilitators, you know, we've got 12 teams, you know, this mm -hmm. is the parameters of what we're doing. What's the best way to lay out the information, right? Like that's, that I think is where your high that value. I enjoy, and and also the you know the I guess the jazzy graphic design, you know, like yeah. not like the effects and where it's placed, and but yeah, as far as thinking through the UI, you know, looking at the content you got on those screens thus far, and then knowing what's coming on the upcoming screens, um, I can think through the UI and then design it out. And to me, that's that's really fun and um and i can do it pretty quick well, um there might be a little bit of slowdown when it comes to getting those images onto the web the same way as i kind of have it set up in my graphic and and i noticed that a little bit there might be some back and forth here and there some adjustments um so but i i think that would still go faster than where it's going for right sure. now for sure so um, can I, I like i said i apologize i i feel really bad and no I'm no no but dylan dylan it, but. dylan i i i get i get the situation and and yeah, there, there's no judgment or ill will there's no you know um i you know it is what it is and let's mm -hmm. just uh adjust and mm -hmm. you know i'm I think, you know, there's a, there's a long-term relationship here. And, you know, I think there's something beautiful in what you can do. And we just got to find the best way to, to, to bring that out. That's, that's the bigger yeah, picture yeah. idea of the company that I want to create, you know. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I fully get that as well. Yeah, everybody really is doing what they enjoy and everybody's working together, kind of playing their part to help each other. Um, and, and yeah, I know I'm really, I, I feel like I'd, really good at the user interface like layout part and actually doing the graphics um and you know that those are skills i have and those are things i like to do and i have experience doing them so i'm, I'm much faster at doing that um so can i know, suggest I, 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 can i suggest uh, maybe a, yeah. a, a new starting point maybe yeah is the last chat room that i sent you um do you know which one i'm talking about I did an update to the overall chat that had the combo type at the top and the objective. Let me let me take a look real quick. Or do you want me to maybe send it again? I probably I'm sure I haven't and maybe took a look. Okay, is it called 
It was the convo type Zoom interfaces. Yeah, that's probably it. Okay. Do you want to? So can you pull it up? Can you put huh? it up on the screen? Can I put it up on the screen? Oh, give me one second. I'll make you host. Because the thing is, like what we showed you before was the step by step. Um, Are these it? No. No. Can you, you can still see the screen? Um, is it in one of these names of folders? Um, Synergy map value system. Maybe I didn't see it. Okay, let, let me see if I can send it again here. This one, the main chat room interface? Yeah, yeah, that one. Okay. Can you see it? Not yet, but it's, I think it's loading. So I like the thing about my my thing is is the you know the the information and and the design of the you know each one of those words it hasn't come up yet but each one of those words signifies one of a button that has other variables right so there's there's one step there's seven steps there's one field there's six fields there's one space there's five spaces right so the there's a lot on there but it really creates the context for what that chat room is and that's what i see missing in terms of all the other chat room programs and so what we're looking at doing is is having a very specific chat room set up that the facilitator goes through that process of choosing the elements and then boom you have the chat room mm -hmm. and so the and then at some point each one of the, the the each one of the conversation types is going to have the mechanics, as Noah was saying last time about what can happen with that particular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, where, where's the the specifics to them? Um, yeah, it's, what it's still not yeah. coming up. But I guess the the point well, being. Hold on, that, let, let me reshare. I, I'm sure it's because I didn't uh, see. Let me start the share over. Yeah, there you go. So, I mean, it's, it's like having a point score part of the game. Like, how do you like this interface? Um, I mean, it's somewhat similar to the other one. Yeah, it's, it's quite similar. Um, the value and the combo type is the main thing where before it wasn't. The mission goal across the, like it, in my mind like these yeah, are yeah, all yeah. all the essential elements mm -hmm. and if you, like i think that and then at the bottom for load media save stream makes media share share stream it's kind of like if you took this but then did another type of aesthetic like the colors actually are important but there's going to be like with the ideation convo and creativity products that's yellow like there's a color coding behind this where there's there's going to be like eight other colors with this depending upon what yeah. it is but i so so it, it's like the fonts could change the colors couldn't change the placement could change the actual languaging can't change so it's more from a point of view of of if you like would it like the i would what? still do it different what's that i would i would still do it pretty vastly different yeah so so i to me this is the baby right this is the baby we're taking them to and so what would be a high value thing within the graphic design is you coming up with your own your own one of this just like you said 
Yeah, so I, I get that there's like certain points like that, like this needs to be on the screen. And if this is showing, there needs to be some color theming with this or some kind of correlation. And like these terms or words need to be there. It, it, I mean, yeah, I get like the things that need to be there. Um, but as far as the entire layout of the whole screen, I would do it differently. Yeah. Um, and, and so to, to me, a very high value next step for you to do would be to redo that screen and then we start from there going going then we got the front screen and then over time like depending like to me i'm taking you off the timeline in terms of pressure like mm -hmm. noah's going to get it done and you don't it, and it's not on your responsibility to get it done in a sense but we're looking longer term and we're looking at next steps because mm -hmm. we're, we're not you know, we'll, we'll, we'll create with what we have because it's what we have and that's it. But, you know, we're mm -hmm. looking to make a, a very much different program. And that's, you know, to me, the longer term uh, collaboration with you. Right. So, yeah, so you're interested in that. Yeah. So as far as the screens, um, you know, the, the different steps and then like the profile screen, and you know, I already kind of did the login or the landing and login screen. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I can definitely like that's that's fine i have no problem with doing the graphic layout and then making like the individual parts of that like individual graphics and sending those separate but you know i would just kind of do the whole mock layout and photoshop or illustrator or whatever and and then show you guys a kind of a preview of it and then as he starts building it then i give him all the individual like uh images out of it that he'll need to kind of put in different divs and you know do correlative uh like CSS stuff um, for how it's placed and how it's set up. But um, yeah, I mean, that's that's no problem. It, it, yeah, so basically you're saying that as far as your your timeline for trying to get something functional and usable for Lucille, um, that you're continuing with the build and kind of the look you have, so it's just functional. And then as he has time, he can kind of redo those screens with my graphic layout. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Or, or we'll find someone else. Um, huh. Because Noah, Noah still is under a crunch with his school and stuff. So yeah. I mean, we need a bigger team. And you know, yeah. I think we have enough now, you know, looking at your quality and your interest that there's enough now to show someone who will sort of uh, jump in kind of like we are right and that's the type of people I want I want some people who are willing to put some time in and uh, you know the risk creates reward will be rewarded um, yeah so I mean really if you if you could find a front-end um, programmer or just another programmer that um, you know could kind of share the weight with Noah um, who would maybe it sounds like Noah would prefer to do the back-end programming yeah um, and if someone has the program experience to kind of uh, do the HTML or CSS or the front end and JavaScript, um, that's more, that's kind of how they they build websites or they're more used to it or they'd be faster. Like I said, with me, it's like, I've done it, I've had experience with it, but it's been so long that I'm just going through a really slow learning curve and trying to balance that out with a timeline or a deadline and with all my other work has been difficult um you know if i if i was more up to speed on that then i would be going through it a lot faster but it's still doing the thinking of the graphic layout and then doing the graphic work and then coding it all yeah. is is a lot more to take on no so as far as just conceptually designing it thinking through it and then doing the graphic work and getting all the different parts of the graphic you know, all the individual graphics on the screen and get them prepared and send them over to whoever's gonna basically lay them out um, with the front end coding. So. Okay, so we got a next step. Um, I gotta get going soon. Okay. And um... yeah, I, I can take this and I've got a screenshot of the the older first step, the the, the one that is was up was yep. live um and i've also got another screenshot of the profile page and i can start mocking those up i haven't even had yeah. time to even think about mocking those up because i've been trying to get up to speed on coding again um to get it to actually work 
Yeah. No, I, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's my uh, my fault. And it's my fault for not updating you guys quick enough. Or you know, I think the last meeting we had all three of us together, I was like, yeah, I'm on a, I'm on a learning curve and I'm going kind of slow, but I'm still pushing through it. You know, I'm pretty sure I can do it. And I, and I took some <laughs> steps, but definitely not not at the speed if you're on a two to four week deadline yeah. that you're looking for. Um, and I, I, yeah, think, I, I know, mean, I, within like a month out of the learning curve from now, if I had more time, then I, I might get there. But well, yeah. the, just a little feedback, I guess, just in terms of communication, you know, it's it's always if you can't accomplish what you're what you're you're setting out to do when you sort of notice it, like you notice you don't have the tools, you don't have the knowledge or whatever it is. That's the time you got to say, hey, you know. <laughs> Uh, this bone ain't going to reach that destination and that's for all of us right we all need to do that it, 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 but it's not easy because then you have to sort of you have to realize in the moment kind of uh, what's going on you know in some yeah way. and I think that happened over the last week I mean as far as like you know I was picking up speed and moving through things but just with the pace of all the other workload I've got and the amount of like time I need to continue to research and kind of study as well as like trying and coding it's just it's just slowed down um we we got and... that you don't have to say it again <laughs> let's just let's just stop so I'm letting you know now I... yeah we we definitely need to try something else um if, if you're <laughs> just for the speed of it now as far as like I can do it it's just going to take longer. Um, with, no, you know, no, we, we, no we, we're not going back anywhere. We, we we got a next step. That's it. Okay. Yeah, that's cool with me. I mean, Perfect. it makes it easier for me, and I'll I'll enjoy it more too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. I'll see you, Dylan. All right. Have a good night. Okay. Bye.